good morning children this is sashi here and we are going to study biology which comes under your science subject now on the basis of eating habits we'll discuss different types of animals on the habits of their eating so first one is herbivores from your childhood only you must have studied this herbivores okay so what is herbivores herbivores animals herbi herbi means plants vor means eaters means plant eaters herbivores means plant eaters so those animals that eat only plants and plant products okay those who eat only plants and pra- plant products those animals are called as what herbivores so many examples are there cow buffalo deer rabbit pigeon giraffe elephant camel horse so many animals are there okay so once again what is herbivores the animals those who eat plants and plant products those are called as herbivores you can see the image here deer is there buffalo is there okay so very simple what is herbivores herbivores are the animals those who eat plants and plant products and example so many examples are given here okay now some special characteristics of herbivores means what special characters they have okay herbivores herbivores you come to know what is herbivores now some special characteristics what are the some special character in herbivores okay so the first one is what is the first special characteristics certain herbivores like cow horse goat have wide blunt teeth and such teeth are suitable for pulling plants off the ground and grinding them so they are having wide wide blunt teeth okay wide blunt teeth so you can see here wide blunt teeth this is a cow and its teeth you can see then you can see here wide it's too much wide can you see from here to here this much wide wide blunt teeth so that if they will pull out the grass then gla- grass will come in and they can pull it in okay so they are having wide blunt teeth this is a cow animated figure and you can see the wide blunt teeth okay look at here this one so much wide blunt teeth okay so they have this this special characteristics that they have wide blunt teeth okay so just now we have seen the first characteristics that they have wide blunt teeth so that they can pull the pull the grass from the ground okay now the second second characteristics herbivores such as cow buffalo and camel have the ability to bring back the previously swallowed food okay previously swallowed food to the mouth they have the ability to bring the swallowed food to the mouth for a second chewing called rumination this helps them to digest and absorb the most of the nutrients from the hard to digest digest food such as grass such animals are called as ruminants okay so what is the second characteristics that they chew the food they can swallow the food and they can bring back out from the mouth for the second chewing and this process is called as what this process is called as rumination this process is called as rumination and those animals those who do this kind of process those animals are called as ruminants so who are ruminants the cow uh, the cow buffalo goat all these they are ruminants okay okay so you can see here this cow is eating the grass or leaves and it is going to the stomach it is going to the stomach and they just they just uh, pull it from the ground and swallow to the stomach 
and while sitting or while relaxing they bring back they bring back they bring back again to the mouth and they start chewing it for the second time so that it can be digested properly this process first of all this swelling into the stomach and again bringing back to the mouth for the second chewing this process is called as what rumination okay okay so you can see here this cow is chewing first of all first of all the cow is swelling the food okay it is swelling the food and it is going straight to the stomach after swelling it into the stomach then this swallowed food again goes back to another chamber of the stomach and from the stomach again it is coming to the mouth you can see again it is coming to the mouth and again they are chewing while relaxing you must have seen while relaxing they do this kind of chewing isn't it so so in the animation you have seen how they were chewing and it was going to the stomach and again it was coming back to the mouth for second chewing this whole process was called as what this was called as rumination and the animals those who do such kind of process is called as ruminants so ruminants like cow cow buffalo and all are ruminants okay so two special characteristics we have seen one is blunt and white teeth so that they they can pull the grass or leaves from the ground and second one is rumination okay so two special characteristics of special characteristics of carnivore carnivorous we have seen okay okay so not carnivorous herbivorous two special characteristics of herbivorous we have seen now come to carnivorous what is carnivorous this also you must have studied okay so carnivorous the those animals that only eat other animals the animals those who eat other animals like lion tiger wolf owl hen hyena eagle kite so many animals are there those who eat other animals you can see this animal is going to eat this animal okay so these are called as what carnivorous lion also eat other animals like deer and all so they are called as what carnivorous this this carnivorous about carnivorous we have studied in junior classes also okay so they are called as what carnivorous now different types of carnivorous you can see first one is insectivorous insectivorous means the animals those who eat insect or insect eaters like frog toad lizard you must have seen they eat the insect frog also toad also lizards chameleon you must have seen they eat the insect so they are called as insectivorous okay so you can see here is one example of insectivorous this is chameleon you can see in this picture they are eating other insect frog or toad toad it is eating other any other insect you can see chameleon eating other insect so this is the animated figure you can see so they are called as what they are called as insectivorous similarly piscivorous piscivorous means fish eaters those who eat fish are called as piscivorous very simple so like penguin kingfisher in fact we the humans bear we are also fish piscivorous we we eat fish or not human beings then polar bear they also eat fish so they all are what they all are piscivorous then myrmecophagus means ant eaters means spiny ant eaters scaly ant eaters are hard work okay 
so here is the picture of odd one they eat the ant ant eaters simply ant eaters they are called as myrme cophagus okay then the fourth one is cannibals cannibals they feed on individual of their own species example scorpion scorpion they eat their own species means small 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 scorpion also scorpion can eat the small small scorpion only okay their own species so they are called as what cannibals okay okay so today we have studied about herbivorous and its two special characteristics then we studied about carnivorous carnivorous then four types of carnivorous okay so today here we end the class today up to here okay in the next class we'll study further so thank you have a nice day